In Argentina, military historian Mike Pavlik is investigating a series of structures on a government-restricted island. He learns they are connected to Nazi scientist Ronald Richter, invited by the Argentinian president to run a secret nuclear project. You have to wonder what could have happened if Argentina in the 40s and 50s and 60s had developed a nuclear program that just changed the whole landscape of the world. Pavlik's exploration of the island reveals empty structures and no visible evidence of a complex nuclear facility. What's more, bullet holes suggest that work on the island comes to an abrupt and violent end. What was Dr. Richter working on specifically and how successful was he? La versión oficial dice que él estaba trabajando en la fisión nuclear. Tendría que ser desmentido y a su vez echado de su cargo por no haber cumplido con, con ese objetivo. Most historians believe that the Nazis never cracked nuclear fusion. It transpires that Richter was a con man who scammed Argentinian President Juan Perón out of millions of dollars. Richter was a charter, he was a charlatan. There was no way he was going to be able to produce uh, nuclear fusion. Perón spent an enormous amount of money that he could ill afford on this project. He spent $62 million. Richter wasn't the only Nazi in town. Torturer Dr. Joseph Mengele and architect of the Holocaust, Adolf Eichmann, also sought refuge here. Pavlik presses local historian Abel Basti to name others. Were there more important or notable Nazis that lived in Bariloche after the war? What he hears is completely unexpected. Hang on, hang on a second. I might have missed the translation. Hitler in Bariloche after the war. Is that what he just said? Sí, sí. Sí, yo sé que él lo sorprende, pero si él hablara con los argentinos o con gente de, de Bariloche, eh, se reirían si él le, le, le dijera que Hitler murió en 1945. 